The British Swimming Championships 2023 have come to a close and what a memorable event it was. With numerous lifetime bests, dramatic nail-biting finishes and an impressive number of swimmers hitting very tough consideration and qualification times, this year's championships had it all. A total of 15 swimmers achieved consideration or qualification times who have guaranteed their place on the World Championship squad in the summer, but with a change in policy midway through the meet to allow more coaches' discretion in relay selections, a further 14 swimmers have been selected to represent GB in Japan. There were an abundance of world-class swims. Matt Richards, with his series of brilliant swims, became the first swimmer ever to go sub-22 seconds in the 50m freestyle, sub-48 seconds in the 100m freestyle, and sub-145 in the 200m freestyle. Matt's performance was nothing short of sensational, with him hitting two considerations, breaking Welsh records, and setting the fastest times in the world for both the 100 and the 200m freestyle at the time. Yeah, really happy with that. Really happy. You know, there's still lots of things to move on and, and improve on on there. Um, I probably didn't push it on enough in that middle hundred. I, I, you know, the, the plan was to race the race at the end of the day. Um, you know, there was probably a slightly faster time in that. I felt like I had a bit more in the tank at the end, which is promising for the summer. Olympic champion Tom Dean became a British champion for the first time by winning the 200m IM, narrowly edging out Duncan Scott to win the gold medal and hit the consideration time. The Olympic champion will now aim to become a world champion this summer as he also joined Matt in going sub 145 in a 200m freestyle to again go underneath the qualification time. Freya Colbert secured herself as a triple British champion by winning titles in the 400 and 800 metres freestyle and the 400 metres IM. Her massive lifetime bests, her hugely improved backstroke and her fierce rivalry with Katie Shannon promised many thrilling showdowns in the future, both domestically and internationally. Speaking of Katie Shanahan, she won gold and hit consideration times in both the 200m backstroke and the 200m IM, as well as hitting a consideration time and winning silver in the 400m IM. Her 200m IM victory over Abby Wood, achieved in one of the best performances of the week, demonstrated her incredible ability to potentially challenge some of the world's best in Japan. Dan Jervis retained his British titles in the distance events for the seventh consecutive year. He delivered a blistering performance in the 1500 meters freestyle, coming within four tenths of a second of his personal best as he secured the qualification time for the World Championships. He followed that up by achieving the consideration time in the 800 meters freestyle as well, generating a big buzz around him for when the summer competitions come around. I mean, the feeling when I touched the wall and I heard the crowd uh, the other day was, oh, it was brilliant. You know, I think, I think it's moments like that. So you, I feel like you go through 90% of hell in training and then that 10% feeling, that feeling is worth it. You know, it's, it's great. I loved it. Yeah. Ollie Morgan, although not hitting a consideration time, made history by becoming a triple British champion in all three backstroke events, a feat not accomplished since Marco Loughran in 2007. He was simply unstoppable throughout the championships, delivering lifetime best after lifetime best and putting on an astonishing performance. Other swimmers that hit their consideration times were Freya Anderson in the 100 and 200m freestyle, Anna Hopkin in the 50 and 100m freestyle, Duncan Scott in the 100m freestyle and the 200 IM, Laura Stevens in the 200 fly, Emily Large also in the 200m fly, Lewis Burris in the 100m freestyle, Jacob Peters in the 100 fly, Abby Wood in the 200 IM and Ben Proud in the 50 freestyle. The men's 4x1 and 4x2 freestyle relays made their consideration times and with that achievement, James Guy and Duncan Scott also earned their consideration times for the 200m freestyle as did Tom Dean for the 100m freestyle. We end this roundup with the junior swimmers. Several of them stood out during the competition, showcasing immense potential and talent, with their main aim to hit the times to qualify for the European juniors later on in the season. Among those names were Emily Bloxage, who had a simply outstanding meet, as did many others, including the likes of Leah Schlossen and Sienna Robinson. 
national age group records were tumbling from some of the juniors as the future looks bright for British swimming. Congratulations to all swimmers involved, it was a week to remember.